Четыре. She runs. We're going racing. My shop hat on, my shoes tied tight. I hope I don't get into a fight. Back to the track, back to the track. Going back to the track, to the track, back to the I will impact your life. I might get us all thrown in jail, but we're gonna have fun doing it. Yep. I mean, baby steps. I mean, I could just as easily pull across the way, but I'm just gonna have to do it. Right yeah. Look at this guy, dude. He took up three handicap spots. Yeah, Who does it? Right Look between the fucking signs. Say hi to Steve, by the way. <laughs> hi, guys. Look at this. Who does that? Did you jump the fucking curb? So why you park here instead of in there? They wouldn't let me. Let's get a canopy out, set it up over here. Here, you take this. Until somebody says something to throw a canopy out, I'll stay right the fuck here. Set it up just like home. Right on. See this? I got my crew chief hat on hey. today. Yeah. I'm crew chief and shit. Look at this. MMR shirt, hey. yes sir. Had a little bit of difficulties this morning coming in. They didn't want me to park. Inside. They need to understand that you're handicapped. Yeah, and they didn't understand that. So, this is now we're out here. I like it. That's very ingenuitive. I like that kind of thinking. Well, let's right, go get your go kart. Let's do something. Well, we gotta get your go kart over here. I'll Should move we quad. set it on the quad and just. Uh, okay, I can bring it over. Oh, I can't ride it without a helmet. You gotta have a helmet. Somebody has to have a helmet. I on. think only inside of there. I don't want to really piss them off that much. Right. There's more rules here than this is out in Monroe. Oh, I know. You know? They got a lot of rules here. I gotta go piss. I'll they didn't right let back. us sign in last time because we were five minutes late. Alright, guys. So we are out here at Monroe. Evergreen Speedway about to do a little indoor racing with AJ. Go kart, pretty much ready to rip. We just gotta pick up a sprocket. We got a different clutch setup and uh, gear setup than what we had originally intended on having. So just got to pick up a sprocket at the parts trailer, slap it on, get the gear ratio right. Got my crew chief hat on. And uh, we're about to get this thing rolling. Called in the old Steve Jennings race team here. And uh, you know, I said, hey, we don't have a, a small trailer for the cart. We might need uh, need some backup, so he came came out here, brought the trailer, and um, yeah, it's gonna be a good day of racing. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm sure AJ is about to put some work in, and um, hopefully we can have another good race this week. So stay tuned.
inside the building, you gotta have a parking pass. You gotta have, uh, you know, a helmet. I mean, I'm going like two and a half miles an hour. And they still want me to have a fucking helmet on. But don't we'll, make no sense. We'll adapt and comply. So, how much stagger do you think you need? So we got the sprocket on there, looking real nice, spins real free, look at that, all day. Now we just got to put the clutch on there, AJ just got that, it's swapped, ready to go, here we go. Hey, do you think I should take that spacer off to get that flush? I know what we have. Yeah, no, these are those European fucking... The old two fours ready to go. Ready. Shouts out to Frank. He helped us out a lot with the car. AJ's dad's out here. AJ's family's out here today. So switching gears. Got my crew chief hat on, and uh, hopefully we can dial this thing, dial this thing in here for AJ and get him, get him rocking and rolling. Four machine ready to go. Parts ready to go. I'm grabbing my starter box. Yeah. Alrighty guys, so uh, at this point you guys have just seen AJ's practices and in practice this car was pushing quite a bit. Um, we could not get that thing to turn. We made some adjustments, still really wouldn't turn. Uh, we had Joe Constance take a look at it and basically we determined that like because this chassis has no caster in the front like spindle mounts, because it's a pavement chassis, it's just not turning very well whatsoever. And so, uh, because it isn't turning well, we've made as many adjustments as we can. We have the right rear spaced out a ton. Left rear is all the way in. We've moved the right front in and we've added some weight in the front and done a couple of things, just trying to get it to turn. And um, yeah, so. We uh, went out for the heat race and um, it seemed a little better, but we didn't get very far in until the belt popped off. So, um, you know, didn't get any footage of that because we were literally just slamming, but 
belt popped off, got that fixed, figured out why I did that, so got that back together, and AJ's going to be in the LCQ here. So uh, hopefully it goes a little bit better. This car doesn't quite dialed in. It's the first time running it, and um, like I said, we're not really too stoked on uh, the caster situation. As you can see here, those spindles are straight up and down, and uh, pretty much on any other dirt car, those spindles are... Uh, these spindles are clocked back about 15 degrees and uh, that 15 degrees is enough to hurt us quite a bit so, um, anyway we're gonna get another car hopefully in the near future or get those fixed and um, you know, try to be better next time so we'll see how it goes in the LCQ now that you got that on I don't know if you're ever gonna get it off I might need some help are you stuck? Let the fans know what happened there. Did it just die on you? So my foot got stuck under the pedal and she died. She just died on him. Died. Two stroke just got away from him. It's a rookie mistake. It won't happen again. We still got a feature to go here in the, the light class, so hopefully we get that. Get a good run in there. Just a little bit of some learning curves today. A little bit, a lot of learning curves. Some learning curves. get back to the shop and do some work as you guys could see today we were fighting a tight car all day and uh you know lots of trial and uh adversity we had to overcome uh so basically we just gotta go back to the shop regroup try to like i said get some caster in those spindles we'll clock those things back couldn't do it at the track because they're welded on so 
gonna just adjust the spindles there at the shop and uh, she should be good to go. So thanks for tuning in guys, we'll catch you on the next one.